So that is why I love this whole concept of bulk deals. I will give you some exit strategies that you may have, and they're from they're like actually they're very good for townhouses. Okay. okay? Where are you gonna I'll have your use first? Use that to pay this. Mm. Ah, right. Yes. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So what are you gonna yeah. do? I'm gonna use those five units. Okay. By trying to pay the understood, villa, understood, understood. but not necessarily the villa. I will, I will use actually my capital to pay the villa, but I will use the violet to, to pay, pay the violet. Okay, so a forty percent, I will sell one of the villas. That's gonna help me help me to cover a few months for the other four that I have it. Understood. Now a way better moment to resell something in Dubai is the fifty okay. percent. Why fifty percent? Because someone as the mark can get the mortgage during construction. Okay. If you have fifty percent as a construction down, fifty percent as a payment down. But fifty percent is uh, is only for residents, not yes. non-residents. It's only for residents. Okay. Right. But even if you are as an investor, you are a resident or not, I don't care. Okay. But I do have a lot of people in the city that are residents, and okay. they can apply for a mortgage. The Why point. they will apply in this moment for a mortgage? Okay. Because they know by the time of handover, the property is going to be a little bit more expensive. Right. So they don't want to lose the opportunity. Right. right? So I will sell another villa in 50%. Okay. Good. Then I have another moment, which is either close to completion. Right. Either, because you can do already the contract if it's close to completion. Right. Either you have it on completion. So on completion, I will say again, one of two, uh, one of two units. Right? Right. So... By the time I'm going to have the properties ready, I still have in my portfolio one, two units. But actually, the one, two units, I fin finance them already I'm with the three, four units that are priority sold. Understood. So Understood. I'm still keeping one, two townhouses that are beautiful properties. And then I use that to pay for my villa. So in the end, I have two townhouses and I have a mansion. So how much did you pay? Actually, you pay less than 20 million. Yeah. Right? In fact, a lot less. I would have paid somewhere around... You um, pay 15 million for this and actually you're going to pay for the other million. ones maximum 2 million for both of them, not even. Maybe 1 million for both of them, if right? I, so you are investing nothing. If I if I manage this between 10 and 15 million, I can actually manage a portfolio of around 6 townhouses and 1 mansion. And but I will do something else. Yeah. I will try to keep on at the end 2 or 3 villas. I will not sell any of those villas. I will put them on rent. I will refinance all three together and I will pay the 40% that I have for my mansion. Remember this investor from Mexico that we met? Yes. He made 3 million rooms in one year profit. So he went ecstatic. He was like, oh my God, <laughs> he, he's going to move to Dubai. See, first he yeah. was living in Macedonia, but he has a house in Miami and in Macedonia. First he was like, no, I want oxygen and beautiful air. But he comes to Dubai and he's like, I made three million dirhams in one year profit. He's and now he wants to buy bulk. You know? Of course. And that's not him. He bought five other investors from Mexico who want to invest. So Do you think some, they will be happy with the game I'm giving you? So if I make a business plan based on this, saying how we can create these exit strategies for these units in order to pay off three of the townhouses and the villa, all you need is a portfolio of anywhere between a liquidity between 10 and 15 million and we have the potential to make around 15 million dirhams minimum profit in a span of three years That's insane. it's insane yeah different exit strategies yeah right in yeah. different moments on the market with right. different kinds of products in different locations okay but you cannot play that with everyone on the market you have to play that with someone who knows how to choose your needs. And that's going to be definitely me. And you need to play that with someone who knows how to resell your properties. And that's going to be you. This is an important point. You know, I, I get a lot of calls. Both of us get a lot of calls. <laughs> <laughs> of people who say, hey, thank you so much. You know, using your advice, we've bought this property. Thank you. And I'm like, I see. Not that we have a problem, we both are doing quite well for ourselves. But then they contact me saying, hey, can you sell it for me? And yeah, I'm like, it's frustrating, right? And, and no, I'm like, it's not about like who, no, you think of it a lot. I'm running a business, okay? I have a lot of expense. <laughs> I've, got, I've got employees, rents, daily expenses. Uh, and you, you know, client, you have no idea. Because, so any client of mine, if you, you know, I've, or, I've organized car driver hotel you know i i make yeah, sure that you know 
I make sure they have that Dubai experience, the best best dinners, you know, like everything. That's that's the business. That is the business. So, do I give priority to my investors and trade their products? I'm literally. I had uh, an investor of mine. This guy's invested at least around 25, 30 million, all right? And he told me, okay, Zoeb, next, next year, I want to liquidate this property at this price. I'm, and he's like, do you think it's practical? <laughs> I told him, sir, forget about the Brazil property finder. I will sell it. Because I know where to sell it. That's my point, right? Yeah. It's not only by listing a property. I don't need to list a property. I just generate a new client, which is a, which has a different strategy and a different liquidity. See, he wanted to sell his four-bed town. He bought a 2.9. And that time on Dubuzel Property Finder, everywhere it was 2.9, 2.8, zero premium, everything. And so he told me, he came, he told me, Zweb, I need to sell this. I said, no problem. I, I flipped it at 3.2. Because I sold it to one of my investors in the US. Not because it was a bad product. Because he has holding capacity. I told him, just hold the unit, you'll make your profit. But that's connections. Now, you, of course, this guy, he trusted me. He he bought through me. I will give him priority, right? Now, you, okay, take the advice. You go through, you buy. And that's great. You'll always make a good investment choice if you follow our advice. But later, if you come back to me saying, hey, can you trade for me? You will be on the second priority list. Yeah, and we have another examples why people are getting on the second and why they don't get the best units and they don't understand, right? Now, I want to generate their interest like among your clients. We know what we are doing. I do have a good product. You have more good products around the city. If you're working with the right people, you're going to make money. It doesn't matter what you're going to buy. Because see, we have the connection. See, if I if I want to sell any product, I have like you know investors from all over the world. I could I could sell it depending on which product it is, which actually brings me to another one interesting point. I haven't sold I haven't sold penthouses. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that was my idea. <laughs> I can mix you the same kind of category as a villa yeah. townhouses okay so i had i had people call me asking them to sell their penthouses okay so i had once a buyer from us you know he bought this penthouse in the pagani building he bought a penthouse in uh, he lives in address skyview towers he bought a penthouse in pagani he bought a penthouse in, in another building i forgot so he called so what's the price was going for it it was quite expensive <laughs> but i don't i don't but i didn't get into it i gave it to a friend of mine who deals with penthouses but I just realized that that's a market I haven't explored. Maybe you have better uh, experience. I've always been, um, I guess my comfort zone is always these bulk deals, investment, trading, flipping. And so for me, these townhouses, apartments, what is, what is, your, what is your experience with penthouses? So basically the penthouse, it's... It's a very niche product. I it's think. a very niche product, yeah, okay? Yeah. A penthouse is like a mansion. What do I want to be? If you look right now on the market, I will have around 80%-ish apartments. Correct. Right? Correct. And I will have around 20% villas and houses. But if you look Isn't a little bit much? more... Isn't it like 60% apartment? No. 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 Really? 80% no. apartments? Everyone has a unit in this city. Mm. Everyone has a studio, one bedroom in the city. Okay. Okay? A community, like a cluster, I can put... 300, 400, 600, 700 units in total if uh, they have right. something very small. Yeah. In the building, just in one tower, I can put up to 1,000 units. Correct. This Correct. is the calculation on the market right now. Correct. Look a little bit more deep. From that 80%, you have 2 to 5% penthouses, luxurious units. Correct. Very limited, right? Correct. Look at the 20% of the villas. You have 2 to 5% mansions. Uh, see that is that was my logic with mansion. It's a five percent niche market, and I can find a buyer easily for a mansion. Why? But because see, rich families, affluent people want uh, for their family. Look at the demography of the city. This is not like Paris. This is not like New York. This yeah. is not like London. Most of the people in this city they have money. Yeah. I don't have, I went to the point, I don't have time to spend my money. Dubai is like that. It is. We are walking around. Yeah. 
Yeah. We are making good money yeah. and I'm average on the market. Yeah. We are speaking a city who's generating this year, who's bringing this year to Dubai more than 6,500 multimillionaires. That's right. double the New York. That's crazy. This is not a normal city. Yes. This is actually a city for Hustler people city. who can pay cash. This is a city for making money. I, I, I agree. I agree. Now, yeah. for the penthouse and for a mansion, basically, me as a developer and you as an agent, we're oh. going to help them to select their clients. I have a beautiful project in Safa Park. G plus 16, super luxury units exclusively, only 95 units, all of them with private pool. Okay, before we get into this, who is, okay, let's suppose an investor buys a penthouse. Yes. He has no intention to live in it, okay? True. It's an investment. True. Who do you say? For example, this person who did buy the penthouses was American. Okay, I remember this guy. Very cool, flamboyant American guy. Very cool guy. Um, who is your typical buyer for a penthouse? A multimillionaire. Any, any European, particular nationality? European, American who loves to be in the middle of the dress. City. Attention, in the middle of the city. Okay. A young crypto guy. Crypto guys. Someone who sold in his 30s, 40s his company around Europe, America with millions of dollars. Now, see, this is, this is for the viewers, okay? A genuine question. What do you think is a better product? A penthouse or a mansion? I will get both of them because they have a very good leverage and they will do the same thing I'm doing with the villa. 5% niche market. Okay. I do the same. I can easily generate someone in the city with... 40 million dirham to buy two properties from me. See, because I love the designs of Cavalli Couture. I, I love the designs because I think for the first time you guys went mm -hmm. away from the bling, the gold and the snakes. Because it's a new collection. Yeah. yeah it's it, a new Cavalli. It's, it's a beautiful. new collection it's that beautiful. Damak is putting on the market. The height. What is the height? 4 to 4.5 minimum and it's going up to 9. 9 meters in an apartment apartment can you imagine can you Say imagine what floor, nine yeah. meters is i think the standard the best apartments the best apartment in dubai has like 3.3 .3 meters yeah three point is the best and that 3.3 .3 meters is really good 4.5 to 9 is like a palace <laughs> it's insane because i have also double ceilings but look at my units come with you with the client i will explain you exactly the layouts okay all the units they have push khalifa views you have working closets. You have beautiful halls, large places, right? You have all the units with private pools. But my design is yeah. going to help you to select actually your end user. But you are my investor. We're going to speak numbers on the table, right? Okay. I'm giving you a product right now in each 5,000 dirham per square foot. Okay. Where I have in front of me products from very good developers that are yeah. trading right now on DSB Interact in around 10,000 dirham per square foot. True, true. My leverage on this property yeah. is around like it's 60%. You have to pay 60% in three years. I was in 5 Lux uh, JPR the other day. It's trading at 7,000 dirham per square foot. Yeah. 7,000 and I was just, I was five. But okay, now I understand the value of the location. It's I think that's like the new billionaire's row. But see, if a typical investor, again, this is pure doubt, this Cavalli Couture, but you're, you're with giants, this Cipriani residences. Yes. There's Four Seasons. Yes. Is Nobu there as well? Is Nobu? There's no Nobu. No. There's no Nobu. Okay. No, you just, have Bellini. Bellini. Okay. So, and then you have this 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 Russian guy who bought like four buildings, but that's being traded through uh, Berkshire. Um there's four buildings, canal residences, yes. canal front residences, yes. right? So do you don't find that as competition? Like, see, if a, if a, this this young crypto millionaire or this guy from US who wants to live in the city, why would they choose Cavalli Couture instead of Cipriani or um, Four Seasons? Now, you know, I may not have the best experience with super luxurious properties on the market. Okay. But I have a very good experience as a business, as a brand, right? And I do understand what people are looking for. I'm very successful on doing that okay. for years in Dubai. Okay. Now, I have a very good team that took everything good from everyone and combined it in my Cavalli Couture. Okay. Saying that, I'm exclusive. Okay. All my units are completely super luxury. I don't have studios. I don't have one bed. I don't have two beds. 
things that you may find in other people, right? I'm giving you exclusively 95 units. I'm giving you something on the long as a construction. That means every single unit has beautiful views. I'm giving you higher heights. I'm giving you bigger working closets. You cannot buy a penthouse and having a normal closet from one bedroom. You can't. I'm giving you minimum four by four as a bedroom. I'm giving you two different kitchens. I'm giving you minimum one elevator as a private elevator. Actually, this was one of the biggest concerns. I'm not going to say which product, but one of the best products in Dubai, okay? Very fancy Instagram spot. You know, everyone goes there for Instagram shots, okay? But And so even this guy, uh, this American who was buying penthouse, he was living in that building. And this was his biggest concern. He was like, there is no wardrobes because my wife loves to shop. There's no place to keep her clothes and her bags. And that's a, a genuine concern. Class. Yeah. For that's someone who's paying more than 20 that's million, of course, concern. they want that, right? Shoes, bags, watches. They want that. Clothes. Yeah. It's normal. Yeah. I have a beautiful mix of marble and wood. My finishes are completely next level. Okay. okay. My layouts are one of the best in the city for this kind of product. And not only by the fact I'm giving you such an exclusive product, I'm selecting your neighbors. I don't select only your clients. My three bedrooms are on specific floors. Floors. I don't mix three bedrooms with four bedrooms. I don't mix, don't mix four bedrooms with five bedrooms. Okay. I have different kind of categories. I can give you a simplex. I can give you a duplex. I can give you a triplex. I give you minimum one pool in an apartment, but I may give you even two. Now, this is another funny fact. Now, most of these investors that I've met are $10 million plus, right? This is something that they, they hate communities with same houses. They like it to be different. So that is why they like the palm now. Earlier, they didn't like it because it was all the same houses. Now, if you go on, on the palm, every house looks different. So it's got that Miami vibe. Yeah, international you know? vibe. So because they don't like every house being the same, they want to be different. This is this is their mindset. Go and be different and buy, it, uh, buy a beautiful penthouse. That is actually a good point. I mean... I'm giving you different options. Yeah. Mansion is luxurious, right? Yeah. It's in a different location. It's coming with beach or golf. Okay. Penthouse, it's a completely different product. Yeah. It's coming very luxurious in a very luxurious location. Price-wise, similar. Size, completely different. It's normal. My so, point is, yeah. come to me. I will make sure I will select exactly the product. I will make you the strategy in words like, we are using good leverages. We are using good promotions. In order for you to make money. banks will exactly make Super a strategy. Easy. So I think that's that's the the the, the summary of, of. I loved the strategy that she mentioned. It. You know how you can buy a bit of both. Maybe get into like a, a product like five a, a cluster plus a mansion and use the cluster to pay off the mansion, and so you enhance your profits. So we can we should work on that strategy yeah. and maybe we'll discuss that strategy next time. Do you understand why I was saying I even, I will even dare to push the client to buy 10 units? Yeah. Play the same strategy. Now, what is the worst that can happen in those kind of strategies? We cannot control the market. We cannot control the prices. And not in Dubai, we cannot we never control the prices anywhere. You don't buy when the price is up or down, you buy when you have money, and that we know. You know, this is again, so this these investors, they don't care because they have holding capacity. So if you have holding capacity, yeah. you don't think short term anyway. And, and exactly. market crashes don't don't uh, don't affect you because when when you're buying a product at the right price in the right mm -hmm. location, see, because we're dealing with profits of around like what, 60, 70 percent over here. So when the market dips, how much will go down to 15, 20 percent? Exactly. You're still in profit. Products that normally dip, which areas are going to get hit? Should I mention the areas? Okay, should, should Don't I mention I, the areas, I, but you are speaking about the luxury normally. Either ultra luxury or there are some locations that will get hit for certain reasons. So, uh, because the wrong price, wrong location, any which is. But products like these, like a community, you where you have your school, your parks, your families, people are connected. It's it's a no-brainer. You know, it's like uh, I'm successful in buying, keep buying properties in Romania, okay? Yeah, and yeah. everyone says like, uh, you're leveraging, leveraging too much your properties. Yeah, by today I have three properties in Romania and I'm very happy That's with fantastic. that. That's by fantastic. leveraging one yeah. studio, okay? 
when I bought something in COVID, everyone said, you're crazy. I was like, guys, what's going to happen? Yeah. You are going and get something with the mortgage. Refinance your property doesn't matter. If tomorrow the market going to crash, where are you going to sleep on the street? You still have to pay rent. Of course. Like, what's the risk that you get with properties in the word zero? Nothing. I know, see, uh, uh, see, an intelligent investor, he does. he's not bothered by the market crash. He understands that. You know, markets move up and down as long. But you it's make not, sensible investments. It's healthy. You make sensible calls. But point is that, see, you need to respect the work as well. You know, people, you don't meet a lot of honest, hardworking people who try and give really good products to um, investors. I'm not talking about just me and her, you know, like there are a few people out there because most people don't even know what they're selling. They're just scrambling around like headless chicken. Spoiling you know, the market. Yeah, you know, the because mind. they have no idea. And that's because of the toxic environment created by the companies, you know, they, because they have such pressure. And so they're running around selling like headless chickens. In amid, Amidst those, there are a few people, you know, who, who masters in finance. We, we are very clear on our numbers, on our strategies. We, we deal with investors like consultants. You need to respect that time. Yeah, don't play games. <sighs> I think that's about it. No I know how to secure a good deal and they know how to do my job and they know how to make sure my units will not get cancelled. I'm getting the best deals. I, I'm getting see, the best units. I know units. how much you fight. I know, I know how, how to do fight. those I know how much things. you fight. And then you meet some people who just play these games and that's just It's part annoying. of the game you said. Huh? It's part of the game you said. Part of the game. Part <laughs> of the game. But uh, I hope you enjoy the session. If you have any questions for me or for Andrea... Uh, do let us know in the comments. Uh, I think we are, I'm going to work on this strategy. I think that was a brilliant idea that Andrea gave. I, I think that's something I'll definitely use with clients. Right? Like, Makes yeah, sense. That's a beautiful, Makes beautiful sense. plan. And use small properties to refinance the big ones and keep the big ones because they will give you a very good appreciation. the people wouldn't even know what refinance is. <laughs> A lot of people don't even know this. Uh, that's yeah. something that we may have uh, a private discussion we with someone who has leverage and capital Correct. and we can play with something. Uh, that's something I'm, I'm working on as well, this whole seed capital situation. But we're going to stop because it's too long and we're going to continue. She has a flight to Singapore. Best of luck for that. Safe travels. Thank, Thank, Thank you for watching. <laughs> Thank you for having me. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, you're going to cut. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>